welcome to episode 32 of Youth Squad Legends with crew Alexandra. We're in the middle of February. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the second season. It's been quite a journey already with crew Alexandra. Hopefully we see a promotion at the end of this campaign. Crew Alexandra against Grimsby Town. Oi. Big tackle coming in, completely misses the ball, that'll be a yellow card. Yeah, you can't really avoid that, even if it's the second minute. Grimsby have got the worst away record, and I, I think I remember scoring three past these guys last year. So, with a better team, we should be scoring four, five? Rose has disappeared from the left bike spot, Moolah. Majestic one-on-one -on -one save. Bonaventura, let's play it back. Try and break these down slowly and agonizingly painful for the away team. Oh, that was close. Yoa with the best chance of the game so far. Go on, Yoa. Let's go and smash and save. Aguino. Here's Taylor. Oh, that's not the player that I wanted to pass it to, but we'll, we'll keep on going. Some crisp passing so far, and it's Bonaventura. Oh, it's just a matter of time until we get that opening goal. Aguino. Oh, yes. Yoa, nice control, and that's a poor pass. Bradley Morgan will do well to keep that in. I got this. Nice pass back, and decently defended. Well done, guys. Keep on chipping away. Here we go. David Moore underneath it. It's Aguino! Big chance to make your mark on the crew Alexandra side, man. Got to say, our passing's been a lot better, a lot sharper than recent games. So that's one big positive. But if we can't score, <laughs> then we're not going to get the win, are we? Uh, it seems like the, the team are gelling, the team are bonding together. Yoa gets into the box and plays it back to Bonaventure. A nice little tackle there. 45 minutes of crew dominance, and it's going to end nil-nil. It's just not good enough. I've decided to make my three subs at the start of the second half. So Farias, Malachias Jr. and Herrera all come on to try and grab that winning goal. Some saying Herrera can't finish. Lads, he's only been here for like three weeks. Just give him some time. Yes. Go on then. Yeah. Boom. Get in. What a wonderful move. And it's Marvin Aguino, the signing from Wickham Wanderers, who eventually gets this goal. Lovely work and a great finish. Boom, big tackle. El Shinawi's improved so much over the last few months. I'm coming for you. Uh, El Shinawi again. Come on, El Shinawi. Boom! Mm. Chip it up. Farias is there, he's waiting for the ball, lucky bounce, Farias makes it too, let's go, calm down, calm down, time the tackle, that wasn't timed at all, thankfully the shot was off target, that's mine, well done Rose, well in, and a foul as well, for Alexandra, keeping hold of the ball, Herrera, let's whip out some skill moves mate, come on then, there's a path towards goal that's been blocked off. Rose has been really solid at left back. I think he's only like 49 overall. Big header coming up. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. Amala Chias Jr. Doing his bit for the team as always. Go away. We don't want to concede against Grimsby lads. Come on. We're better than that. Moo. David Moore's got this under control lads. We are so good. The whistle goes. It's been a lovely, wonderful, comfortable game for crew Alexandra. Right, I'm going to finally remember to do something so important. We're going to have a competition between Thomas and Malachius Jr. Who is actually the right person to captain this side? Maybe Moolah as well will get a shot at being the captain. Stevenage against crew. Hopefully by the start of next season we'll have our answer who's actually going to take that armband. Win the header, Logan. That's it. Nice little control by Bonaventura, who's actually been one of the most impressive signings, even though it's on loan. Herrera. More times he misses like that, the more angry the comment section's gonna be. Sadly, you can't defend misses like that. It has to do better. Time to bring back a segment that was included at the start of this series. Machias. What a rock. What an excellent player he is. And if we are promoted this season, partly down to him. 
being so solid in defence, keeping it tight at the back. So cheer, yes, no, oh, what a chance, great save in the end, fantastic from the number one of Stevenage. I'm going to call the target once more, trying to flick it over the head, it's worked out a treat. We've changed it up, another three subs for crew, the start of the second half, to try and change a 0-0 draw into a 1-2-0 win. Offside, he's offside, the flag is up, Muller just there being brave again. Moo, right getting involved, come on then, more pressure. Malachias Jr. trying to win the ball. And Steven is just still getting forward. And now they're into the box. This is dangerous. This is more than dangerous. It's a goal for Stevenage. Oh, 12 minutes from the end. That's probably the winner. No doubt about it now. The goalkeeper's going to be man of the match. And the amount of chances that we've squandered. Unbelievable. Yes, Logan McCall seems like the right man to deliver this to. Come on then. Give me this. Oh no! We're still on it! Let's get the draw at least! Tarion Meyer was brought down there and the referee's not even bothered! 1 0 to Stevenage full time and I'd like to see the match stats, please. It says that we only had three shots in the game compared to Stevenage's six. And if that's right, which I very much doubt it, but if it's right, then Stevenage were the worthy winners, even though, in my head, we were quite good. I've been awake for less than two hours and the sun has gone down outside. Yeah. My sleep pattern is absolutely ruined. Usually the start of the month is a great time because we bring up a youth player that our scouts have found. However, this month, no one is available to us. So, sadly, we just get on with the games. Yeovil Town against Crew. Pascal Muller lining this one up. He is ready for it. Pascal! Over the bar. Chipped up. Herrera. Oh, no! That was a wonderful finish and it's still not in. Easy. Oh, Machias, what are you doing? You're completely missing that tackle. Thankfully, Torreon Meyer, smart thinking, just teeing it up for his goalkeeper to catch it. The thing is, if we do get promoted into League One, the range of players that will be coming through our youth system will be greater and therefore it changes the chances of us bringing an absolute superstar through our youth academy. We haven't brought anybody of real quality through yet but I'm pretty sure that will change very soon. Wayne Hunt, here's Farias, he's got Da Costa out wide, very nice so far, fake shot, crossed in, Farias! I think I forgot to change the captaincy again. I don't even know who's captain. If only you could change captaincies through the game itself. But no, no. It's too difficult for EA to implement something like that. Here's Wayne Hunt. Farias is on the move. Malachias Jr. saying, come on, I'll have it. Try and play it back. But that's not good enough. Not good enough, lads. Another nil-nil 45 minutes. Herrera. He has to play it back. Malachias Jr. Now Wayne Hunt. Play it back again. Yeovil Town, very compact at the moment. Malachias Jr. Whew, look at this. 60th minute, just defend this corner and then maybe think about subs. Defend the corner, come on. Get across, oh, Nascimento da Costa just has no strength whatsoever. This is gonna be a goal, isn't it? Well, the match starts, they'll still probably say, oh, Yeovil Town with the better side, but I felt so comfortable. So comfortable. Oh, but look! Reverse pass! Herrera made the assist, remember that. But in, he's levitating. Can we have a look at that again? Slow motion on that celebration because the man was levitating. Get in, guys. Instant response from crew. I got this, I got this. Come on then, lads. Find the winner. We got just less than three minutes to go, and Farias has made the break. He's getting into the box. Farias, please, is over. I shouldn't really do it, but we are going all out attack to try and find the winner. As Herrera plays it back, it's El Shinobi again. No, ah, and that's why he's a centre back. Everybody, he's played really well. 
but you can't excuse misses like that. Yeovil Town Corner to finish the game off. It would be really cruel if we conceded now. Get it out. Herrera blasts it, and that is the game. 1 0 at the end. Pulsating, but quite annoying. Thursday match in League 2 is quite a strange one. It's a chance to get very close to Accrington. One point being the gap if we do win this game. Captain Muller for the day. Accrington Stanley against Crew Alexandra in our final game of this episode. Oh! Yes! Go on then! Finish it! How have you not scored from there? And there's an injury. Oh, he's gone back up. Sure it was Iowa who tried the head off from about one yard out and completely missed the ball. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Nice. Yeah, good luck trying to score in the Bundesliga, mate, when you finish this loan. Because that's not happening. Oh, no, 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 no. Ref. Oh, come on now, referee. Rose actually did well there to grab the ball and you're like, no, it's a foul, mate. I guarantee if Accrington Stanley did the exact same challenge, get out. Did the exact same challenge, he'd be like, yeah, that's fair. That's a great challenge, mate. Well played. <laughs> to beat the computer, I must think like the computer. Yo is on the move. That's a ball. Yes, but a Ventura. Ah. McNeil. 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 <laughs> I'm getting a bit angry. Yeah, that's right. It's half time. And guess what? It's another nil-nil. But what? Oh, you have got to be joking me. They have... I can't even believe that call. The referee is crooked. This has just been called up as an Accrington Stanley free kick. Watch. Watch. He's passed the ball. And the Accrington Stanley man's gone into my crew player, and yet it's been called for the other side. Get out! Uh, just clear, just clear the ball. Thank you. What a tackle by Leon Rose. Maybe still there's time. Little bit of a foul there as well, referee. El Shinawi. Here's Taylor. Herrera's found the space. He'll play it back to Rose. Yes. And again, Herrera. The tackling the defending for Accrington has been absolutely astonishing. Turn, fall over, get injured, mate. That's all right. This has been a pure Accrington bastard Stanley performance. <laughs> Would be perfect if they scored the winner now. Malcolm Taylor. There's a path through. Herrera. Go on, Herrera. Oh, it's not full. It's not full, Herrera. Get in. Get in, lads. Yes. Oh, my word. Wow. Blood pressure. Hi. Go. You're on side. Farias. Drill it across. It's not drilled crossing that, mate. Finish it. Full time. Blow for full time. What is going on? Is that it? Yes! At the end of the 90 minutes. Oh. Oh, but let's not do that again, thanks. Well, I'm sure you guys could grab some entertainment from that last game. Unfortunately, it means that we're quite unprepared for the Barnet match at the start of next episode. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like, and I'll see you next time. Moving down.